In this question, we're given a system that relates the input x of t to the output y of t, and we're asked for what range of values of k will this system be causal? So k is right there. For what values of k will this system be causal? Now, remember, a causal system cannot anticipate future values. So this argument here, this value here between brackets, cannot be greater than that. It's not possible. It's not possible for y at any point in time um, to depend on a point in time in the future. So this must be less than or equal to that. So I can say for causality, t plus cosine k must be less than or equal to t. So cosine k must be less than or equal to zero. So now we need to solve this inequality. When is cosine less than zero? And we're told in the question, we're told that um, the absolute value of k is limited, it's less than 2 pi. So k ranges between minus 2 pi and pi. So if we just remind ourselves of the plot of cosine k, it looks something like this. So this is from 0 to 2 pi in the positive and 0 to 2 pi in the negative. So that's 2 pi, that's minus 2 pi, and that's k. So when is this less than or equal to 0? So it's between these two points and between these two points. Remember, we're looking for the range of values of k that makes the cosine negative. So if we just zoom into this, if that's 2 pi, then that's pi, and that there is pi over 2, and that's 3 pi over 2, and that's minus pi over 2, and that's minus 3 pi over 2. So the range of values of k will be this range here and this range here. So we can summarize that and say that the absolute value of k, um, the absolute value of k, needs to be between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. So that range will guarantee that my cosine will be negative. So let me just illustrate. I'm talking about this part of the curve where the cosine is negative. Why do I need the cosine to be negative? Because only by this being negative will I be sure that I am never looking into the future. Okay, This cannot be greater than that. So that's my condition. So for causality, k has to be within that range. So I've just found the range of values for k for which this system is causal.